nothing screams Christmas like burglars and booby traps. Hello. No! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from the Home Alone franchise. Kevin! For this list, we're taking a look at the funniest and most iconic scenes from the theatrical Home Alone movies. I'm sorry. And there's plenty more where that came from. Number 10. I made my family disappear, home alone. I wish they would all just disappear. At some point, every little kid has likely wished for his or her family to just go away. Kevin gets his wish one December morning as he awakens to find the house deserted. I made my family disappear. <laughs> After an initial moment of shock, Kevin remembers how his family spent the previous night, calling him completely helpless and les incompetents. Listen, Kevin, what are you so worried about? You know mom's gonna pack your stuff anyway. You're what the French call les incompetents. Liberated from his elders, Kevin realizes that he's free to jump on the bed, run around the hall screaming, and go through his brother's personal property. This sequence really captures the carefree spirit of being left home alone for the first time. It's all fun and games until robbers show up, though. Maybe he'll let us in, you never know. Yeah, he's a kid. Kids are stupid. Number nine, pizza dinner, home alone. Tracy, did you order the pizza? I did. When you have your whole family over the holidays, dinner time can become especially savage. Hey, pizza's here! Kevin is pushed over the edge when he finds out his brother has eaten his beloved cheese pizza. Did anyone order me a plain cheese? Oh yeah, we did. But if you want any, somebody's gonna have to barf it all up, because it's gone. The fact that Fuller isn't going easy on the Pepsi doesn't help either. Refusing to eat Buzz's barf, Kevin flips out, and chaos ensues in the kitchen. <laughs> Drinks are spilled and kids are squashed behind chairs. The tension reaches its peak as the McAllisters come to complete silence with all eyes on Kevin. Look on what you, you did, you little jerk! He may have reacted like a little jerk, but in Kevin's defense, you do not eat an eight-year-old's pizza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this house is just crazy. Number eight, Pigeon Lady to the rescue, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. What's wrong? Let's get out of here. Shut up, I said. Appearances can be deceiving. <coughs> A strange old woman who surrounds herself with pigeons may seem creepy. Do you know that it's been a couple of years since I've talked to anybody? That's OK. You're really good at it. You're not boring. You don't mumble or spit when you talk. You should do it more often. Kevin eventually finds, however, that this New Yorker is actually a nice, caring human being. Kevin, run! The wet slash sticky bandits, on the other hand, are two strangers who are every bit as threatening as they appear. Shoot her! Shoot her! I'm trying to shoot her! Just when it looks like Harry and Marv have finally caught the child who's caused them so much misery, the pigeon lady comes to the rescue with a bucket of birdseed. Her feathered friends engulf the bumbling burglars, leaving Marv cawing as if he were being castrated. <laughs> Number 7. Battle Plan, Home Alone This is my house. I have to defend it. Being left home alone gets real when Kevin realizes he has to defend his house. Before the criminals can break in, he draws up a battle plan, in crayon, of course. Kevin proceeds to put his plan into action, arming his home with micro-machines, sharp Christmas ornaments, and slippery slopes. Okay, we'll check it out first. We can always come back for the truck. Elevated by John Williams' musical score, this montage gets the audience pumped for the comedic mayhem on the horizon. If only Kevin had a little more time to feast upon his delicious mac and cheese dinner. Bless his highly nutritious microwave more macaroni and cheese dinner and the people who sold it on sale. Amen. Are we the 
only ones who are totally bummed he never got to eat that? Merry Christmas, little fella. Number six, fake shower, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Housekeeping. <laughs> Tim Curry almost steals the whole show in Home Alone 2 as a snooty concierge who's out to get Kevin. I do hope your father understands that last night I was simply checking the room to make sure everything was in order. Well, he was pretty mad. In this hilarious scene, Curry attempts to prove that Kevin has been staying in his hotel unsupervised. Being the quick-witted lad he is, however, Kevin is able to trick housekeeping with a shower, an inflatable clown, and a tape recording of his angry Uncle Frank. This cat be talking about, I wonder who could be. The expression on Curry's face is completely priceless as he enters the bathroom and retreats in horror. Get out of here, you nosy little pervert, or I'm gonna slap you silly! This is why every 90s kid desperately wanted a talk boy growing up. Oh, you're cooking, Frankie! <laughs> Number 5. Tarantula on Face, Home Alone. I got him! Kevin's initial plan to torment the wet bandits pretty much goes off without a hitch. When Marv snatches onto his leg, though, Kevin needs to improvise an escape. Luckily, his brother's tarantula wanders by at just the right time. Harry, get up! Give me a hand! The look on Marv's face alone is enough to warrant the moment a spot on this list, and his scream kills us every time. What's just as hysterical is Marv's attempt to smash the hairy spider with a crowbar, much to the horror of his partner. What are you doing, Marv? <laughs> Harry, don't move. Marv? Don't move. Marv may not get his target, but he does add to Harry's agony and our laughter. Shut up. Did I get him? Where is it? Number four. The Scream, Home Alone. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in good shape. If we had to think of one image to sum up Home Alone, it would have to be Macaulay Culkin screaming with his hands on his face. As Kevin talks to himself in the mirror, he lays out his plans for the day like a young Ferris Bueller. Including in between my toes and in my belly button, which I never did before but sort of enjoy. While Kevin may be sophisticated for his age, he's still a little too young for aftershave, or shaving in general. He learns this the hard way as he applies the liquid to his face. Just like the ones I used to know. The aftershave isn't any less painful or hilarious the second time around. Number three. Keep the change, you filthy animal, home alone. Um, but what about the money? When left home alone for the first time, most kids would seize the opportunity to eat junk and watch junk. What do you mean? Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. Kevin wastes no time popping angels with filthy souls into the VCR, but quickly realizes why his elders made this violent movie taboo. All right, Johnny, I'm sorry. I'm going. One, two, ten. The film comes in handy later when Kevin tricks the pizza delivery guy and sends him running for the hills. Cheapskate. Hey, I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. One, two, ten. This classic gag resurfaces in the sequel as Kevin gives the hotel staff the slip. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. While Home Alone 2 might have borrowed heavily from its predecessor, everyone's got to get down on their knees and declare their love for this scene. I love you. Number two, fake party, Home Alone. When those guys come back, I'll be ready. Kevin must be the most resourceful kid in movie history. Once he realizes that robbers are targeting his house, he manages to temporarily elude them by throwing a fake Christmas party. Did they come back? Iris. 
in just a few hours, Kevin rigs his house with mannequins and even a train riding Michael Jordan. Who says that you can't have a good time rocking around the Christmas tree by yourself? This has got to be the most fun party of one ever. Still, exactly how long was Kevin dancing before Harry and Marv finally drove by? You better get out of here before somebody sees us. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Whoa! Nice night for a neck injury! Suck brick, kid! We're not gonna hurt you. No, no. Got some nice presents for you. Be a good little fella now and open the door. Ah! I'm not afraid anymore! You can say hello when you see me. You don't have to be afraid. There's a lot of things going around about me, but none of it's true. Okay? You been a good boy this year? I think so. You swear to it? Well, hello. Oh! He did it! Did what? Number one, all the booby traps, the Home Alone franchise. Hey, come and get me! Who are you? The booby traps have played such a huge role in forming the Home Alone franchise's identity that we had to give our top spot to all of them. A dead kid. We're not sure what's more amazing, that Kevin put these traps together himself, or that Harry and Marv survived them all. A paint can to the head is one thing, Heads up! Oh! Ah! but being set on fire, electrocuted, and sent falling down buildings is quite another. Merry Christmas! Go up! Nevertheless, the traps from the first two Home Alone movies offer some of the funniest slapstick you'll ever see in film. They also prove that a kid always wins against two idiots. This is great. Do you agree with our list? Yes! What's your favorite Home Alone moment? For more unforgettable top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. There he was. Apparently, he was there alone all day with a corpse. Now, he was okay, you know, after six, seven weeks.